Howdy folks, this is the Command Line Volpine here, and welcome to Let's Play Project Warlock 2. We played Project Warlock 1 on the channel some time ago. Uh, it was actually one of the more popular games that I played on the channel at the time. I was still pretty small back then. Uh, I mean, it's still small now, but uh, I'm a lot bigger than I was. Anyway, this just came out in early access on Steam, and I really enjoyed the first game. There was the one thing that disappointed me about the first game is the trailer implied that there'd be a lot of voice acting. Uh, just kind of like the main character would be a wisecracking protagonist, kind of like Duke Nukem or anything else from like the the good old days of video games. And then there was uh, zero voice acting in the actual game. So almost to the degree of false advertisement, I'll put some on the screen now, actually, so you can kind of get an idea of what I mean. Let's rock and roll. And powerful weapons. Groovy. Must take the earth back. Piece of cake. But other than that, it was actually pretty fun. So here's Project Warlock 2. Since the first Project Warlock 1 came out, there's been a lot more games in this genre of uh, just retro first-person shooters. It was kind of not a thing until Project Warlock 1 started being teased and then more games started to come out. Since then, there's been a lot too. So anyway, let's jump into it. Uh, come get some. After all, we have uh, Duke Nukem being... <laughs> released in a movie form here at some point soon. Oh, we're actually going to have multiple characters, which is interesting. Claymore, sword, staff, super shotgun, rifle, and cannon. Are we going to start with all the guns and not have to pick them up? Not sure. Like I said, it's early access, so it might just be right now. He just starts with everything. He uses magic and firearms at an equal rate, can create magic replica of his weapons and use them as akimbo guns. Biography, Palmer is the fanatical follower of his master who wants to follow in his footsteps and fight evil. His master, I think, was the protagonist of the first game. We are warlocks. We traverse time in the universe looking for wisdom and power. Some time ago, our master talked about going on a crusade against evil. Shortly thereafter, he disappeared. Okay. E1M1, Palmer's Castle. Just gonna keep spawning. Okay. There we go. Okay. I need to just lower the mouse density. I didn't think we'd uh, get dropped right in the middle of a fight, <laughs> so I wasn't really prepared for it. I think I still need to lower the sensitivity. There we go. It's this Warlock tutorial program 3.5. This is our claymore. You can use it three to four times over here. Stamina runs out. Use a stamina instead of ammo. Stamina regenerates over time in the background. Your sword is not selected. Stamina regenerates faster if you're not attacking. To use it efficiently, use it between weapons, switching attacks swiftly. I'm pressing like my scroll wheel, my number gun, my numbers too, but it's not. Uh... There is secret walls and stuff, by the way, if it's like the first. Oh, there it is. Okay. Rifle can shoot 30 bullets before playing a reload animation. There's no reload button. To reload prematurely, switch your weapon. The longer you fire, the lower its accuracy. Spread resets when you stop shooting. I was shooting it like a shotgun at first because I thought it was a shotgun, but no, it's right. Got our sword now, though. <laughs> oh. Not sure how much I'll use the sword. We'll have to see. <laughs> oh, okay. Looks like a blood vial there, but maybe I'm not hurt. Oh, there we go. That's weird. Why are they all the same tutorial message? Okay, that's a sucky bus, so we should probably shoot her because she seems to have a range attack. Like melee stuff, I feel like we can hit with a sword, but... Shotgun? Oh, nice. Seems like it's the super shotgun, right? Because it looked like I fired both shells there at once. 
How do shotgun cells get in there? <laughs> Ooh, fire. I'm not strafing so well right now. Okay, you're melee. I can probably take you out with the sword. Oh, we got a bigger reach than I expected. I had to test it. You look destructible. Haven't seen any kind of explosive yet, though. Auto saves. Game automatically saves at certain points. Okay. Understood. Remember be ammo being like a little bit hard to find in the first game. I guess I have to go through this fire, huh? And this looks suspicious as hell. Yeah, the first game I had to like press E on every wall just to be sure I wasn't missing anything. can customize your crosshair too. I made mine the this green square box just because I thought it might be kind of cool. Monsters. Monsters in Project Warlock 2 have different hitboxes with different... Oh, switch my weapons. I was trying to scroll through this. Different damage modifiers. Head, body, and legs. So I don't really want to shoot them in the legs for sure. Some monsters have additional resistance sites. Bony, for example, has high penetration resistance. Oh, okay. Aim for the body or head to be most effective. Oh, you do have a gun. I've been melee attacking you. <laughs> Attack cancellation. You cancel monsters' attacks when you shoot them. This induces a short stun with a cooldown, which cancels their attacks if you shoot them before they attack. So it seems like high rate of fire guns is probably the way to go, huh? Thought something spawned. Armor system, blue and yellow. Blue armor gives 33% effectiveness against incoming damage. Yellow armor gives 50% protection against incoming damage. Picking up blue armor if you have yellow armor changes perfect protectiveness type to blue. Armor shards adapt to protectiveness types. They give plus one to current armor without changing the type. Picking up blue armor. Okay, so you'll want to not pick up blue armor if you can avoid it, unless you're picking up the shards. And right now, this gun seems kind of the best. Yeah, that's destructible. I don't know what happens if we take down all these pillars. So our armor is blue right now, so I'm not sure I'm worried about min-maxing that at the moment. While I still have armor, you know? It's interesting that the armor actually does add damage reduction, though, instead of just being, like, an extra health bar like it usually is in these retro games. Just had to test it. I don't know where this red key goes, though. I don't remember seeing anything. When in doubt, backtrack. You lived? I don't know there's stuff behind that wall. I just wanted to check my back first. Said something? Someone said something. I don't know if it was our character or if it was an enemy that I didn't see. Ouch. Maybe something blew up that wall when we didn't see it.
Panel combo thing going on now. I'd like to try... Have I pressed this? Try to use the sword when I can, but it's not worth taking damage over, you know? Oh, it's just you. Enemies. Okay. Levels in Project Warlock 2 are non-linear. You can approach them in multiple ways. If you're not careful, you might miss some stuff. Just to be implying there's a secret nearby. This looks like the staff from the first game. I can't pick this up, though. I think it's for a different character. So, they seem to like be placing the walls, perhaps. just a loop. Interesting. wonder if they're randomly generated maps or if they're uh, set in stone. Is that an enemy? Yep. <laughs> when in doubt, just take a shot. see that there. Do I feel like burning myself alive to get to that? It's behind a wall, though. Not sure I can blow that up yet. Unless there's an alternate fire. I haven't tried the right click, actually. Okay, I tried to right click. It did not do anything. Not yet. In the first game, there was like a weapon upgrade system, so maybe later we'll be, we'll be able to upgrade to double fire. In fact, I think the shotgun in the first game, that was what you could do. You could either upgrade it to fire both shots at once or I think have more range or something. That looks suspicious as heck. We should probably put on, hold on. We may have to move those around depending on how the screen looks, but there I have my mouse and keyboard overlay back on. Oh, behind me. Dang, son. That was a bit much. <laughs> okay. Didn't expect quite that many creatures to spawn. Seems like the sword is pretty good against lots of enemies, though. Goes back. Oh, hello. Okay. <laughs> that was a lot. See that? Well, that might just be where it's at. Oh, that's a big boy. Big demon. Oh, yeah. Some of the enemies now are like 3D. Perhaps all of them are, actually. But, like, uh. Cell shaded 3D, you know? Jeez. 
surprised that I didn't one shot that guy. Difficulty. A game contains different difficulty type modes. It's funny that they put this after the really hard bar. <laughs> Each difficulty contains different number of monsters and changes their behavior. Seems about right right now, though. Doesn't seem too hard or too easy. Drops on the ground changing depending on what no. Just a little curious. Levels in Project World. Okay, I've read that before. But this I guess that's not a door, even though it feels like one. Come get some. Doors. Hidden doors. Get a direct shot right on their face with their shotgun. It does quite a bit of damage to those bad boys. Looks like where I would hide something if I were the game designer. Need a key card. See, I put it in my own voice acting because the game doesn't have its own. You're right where I want you. Am I? Bony. zone just looks like a trap. Keep spawning enemies behind me, so I'm a little paranoid now. That just unlocked some kind of loop. Okay. Hello, gun. Is that like some kind of long rifle? Let me loop around here first. Some gold armor. If I grab gold armor, does it change it to gold? See that? I'm glitching through the wall there. Might just be a body or something. Super shotgun. Shoots twice before reloading. Cancel the reload animation by switching weapons. Can reload the super shotgun by switching weapons. So it seems like you want to re switch weapons a lot. In this game. We got the shotgun early by uh, finding that one secret path. I think we were supposed to get it at this point otherwise. Gotta check for secrets. Gotta check for secrets. Guessing things will probably spawn when I grab this. Bit. The armor drops might be a little bit much right now. Don't get me wrong, I love winning. But I don't think I'm being uh, punished for my misdeeds. Oh, 
I'd like to get to this armor, though. I can't seem to find any way to get to it, though. I saw a stairway up somewhere without, like, fully backtracking. Here we go. Mind a weapon to any key in the options menu. Hmm. It's weird. This should lead to something, right? Is E maybe not like the look for a secret door button? Seems to seem seems to say that it is. A good old auto map. What are these exclamation marks? Interactable elements. What's that? Guessing that's underneath me. Nope. Hmm. Progress. Oh, I hear someone. I think I just backtracked. Far enough to run into trouble again. Surrender now. This loops back in here. Okay. Seems to be like, whoa, wee, I was up on my map here. I mean, that was, that's a secret door and a half right there. Can't tell me that's not a secret door. <laughs> There's no way it's not. Have a sprint. Maybe. Yes, there's one way to find out. Yes. Interesting. But caps lock is auto run. Wonder if it just leaves leave us on running at all times. be able to hit things with the sword a little easier. Oh, upgrades. That's different because in the first game you upgraded between stages. I come back to this in just a second. I'll make sure it's safe in here. You're right where I'm See, that's kind of the problem with running around with the sword is I can't quite kill guys like that quick enough. If they're a melee enemy, then yes, but not guaranteed turn into a melee enemy. Upgrade to a laser rifle. Upgrades the laser rifle to, or upgrades the rifle to a laser rifle. Removes recoil and increases damage. Or a heavy rifle. Upgrades the rifle to a heavy rifle. Increases ammo. Reduces fire rate. Makes weapon more controllable. Projectiles are slower but deal more damage. Seems to do a lot. Claymore, titanium cord, or magic blade. Claymore gets infused with magic, increases overall damage and additional magic damage. Very effective against monsters with low magic resistance, nice slash resistance. Wants the Claymore's core to get upgraded with a very light titanium core. It allows the user to slash at higher speeds while weighing less. Therefore, damage is increased and stamina uses is reduced. Super shotgun. Harvester. Adds another two barrels to the super shotgun. Double the gun, double the fun. Great combination with an all shot upgrade. Auto reload is increased. This upgrade changes the super shotgun to an automatic shotgun, increasing fire rate and removes the reload. Increased, increased horizontal spread. 
Huh. I'm gonna tell you, the heavy rifle sounds really good. Okay, I can only get one right now. Doesn't, I don't see any money anywhere. So it might just be like one upgrade per level. This seemed the most tempting though, because I feel like the fire rate on the base rifle is so high anyway that lowering its fire rate isn't that bad for more damage. I don't know how many levels there are. It says that only chapter one is in the game right now. I feel like our spread might be worse. I don't know if I like this upgrade. Some very big boys in there. I don't know if they're active or not, but and these guys gotta come to life, right? Get picked off at a distance, son. body bouncing scared just keeping my super shotgun out just in case these guys come to life here oh that bounced when I shot it Exactly unlock anything. Goes the way back, huh? Oh. Ah, that's how we get up here. Okay. Is it worth it? I don't know. Just found an alternative gameplay path. Be warned, if you don't know the map, it might be harder to progress through here. Did I? That doesn't look like an alternative path. Looks like I just found a secret. Didn't give me a secret unlock, though, so... So now we know we can just shoot enough to break the secrets. It's not a matter of, like, pressing the right button. Necessarily. Making sure I'm still running. Okay, sure, no secrets. All right, then keep your secrets. shotgun sounded pretty good too as far as the upgrades went so if I could go back and try upgrading something else that might be what I try it's like a large enemy arena if I've ever seen one like a trap too if I've ever seen one. <laughs> I 
Kimbo utility. This is your first cooldown ability. Once the cooldown is over, you can reuse it. Kimbo lasts 10 seconds maximum. The longer you use it, the longer the cooldown lasts. Switching weapons is equal to disabling a Kimbo. If on cooldown, make sure to build up combos. So there's a drop. So this is going to give me two guns, I'm guessing, of whatever I'm holding. And then, yeah, it's going to spawn a bunch of enemies on me. Okay. Um, get some. Uh, that was like a duration thing. Oh, it's cooldown reduction. Okay, so I should have like walked back into the corpses there. I don't think a combo shotguns would have been the way to go there. Not with my level of shotgun. But maybe if you had two auto shotguns, that would have been pretty awesome. the the bonies or whatever they're called are like so heroic sounding you're right where i want you i'd like to save those barrels if i could Found a secret back there, apparently. Ah, interesting. Okay. What's going on down there, man? big boys that probably explains a thing or two explosive barrels in here Press an E on it, not work. Pretty effective. Things would stop spawning behind me for a second. <laughs> you want auto run on? It's hard to dodge those shotgun shots. See that there. Figure out a way to jump in there. Uh, Bob Saget. 
jump crouch. No jump crouch. Seem like that can break there. Eh, one more thing. I, ah, shoot. That's the one problem with auto run is can certainly, yeah, I don't think I can get up that. Did meet the die, didn't you? Is this okay? I live birch. You hearing all this? things under me, but I think they're all above me. Um, I see rocket ammo here. Rocket launcher time? game saved. I um, think those are the save points. I don't know. as much of a trap as I thought it was. <laughs> unlocked. I didn't even see that it was down there. I thought we had to wait for things to get picked up. Well, this is where we were earlier. Not exactly sure where we need to go next. So this video is going to go a little long because I didn't think the first level would be this long. are definitely a lot a uh, lot bigger and a lot more complicated than the original maps which could be a good thing the old maps were very like single floor like square layout maps
here. Lots of stuff up there. took a lot more than he did previously to kill. Shot him in the head like once earlier with the rifle and I killed him. at switching my weapons I haven't played <laughs> fast paced shooters in a while so many games these days are like you're really slow PUBG likes and Tarkov likes sword has to do it's got a one shot things or it's kind of like not worth it i was certainly not one shotting those guys this is interesting something happened thought they could outsmart me and yeah, it's gonna spawn enemies oh this was a secret Oh, maybe that was what opened up for me pressing the thing. Okay. Well, let's get ready for Kimbo these. That wasn't as uh, many enemies as I thought would spawn. <laughs> what did I press that for, though? What opened up? Uh, oh, here. Okay. Yeah, well, this is definitely going to spawn enemies. Should probably just wait for... Probably wait for a Kimbo to come in here. Doesn't seem right that you... But he puts square in the corner. Secret cameo has been found. Tip to be square. On a battery skull for ghoul. Jesse, what the heck are you talking? Oh, it's a bestiary entry. I know what game you're from. I'm guessing you're a reference. Gold and armor. So now we have to be careful to not pick up bad armor. Okay. in this oh, we're gonna got gold Ooh. converted these all to gold which is oh. oh jesus christ i'm dead i don't get shot by that guy i didn't realize that was a boss necessarily this video is going to be way too long. These maps are uh, not conducive to Let's Play size. Uh, not sure how far back we are. I mean, this is the, the spawn zone for this. So we should backtrack to find that button, if I can remember where it was. Let's 
try this again. Probably shouldn't have done a Kimbo shotgun. So probably should have done a Kimbo heavy gun here. All right. Uh, now of ammo. Jeez, Rick. Don't you think he does a little bit more damage? Mother. Holy cow. Okay, well. Howdy, folks. This is the command line Volpine here, and welcome back to Let's Play Project Warlock 2, where we're going up against this boss, the first boss of the game. However, he is insanely more strong than anything we run into. Like, extremely disproportionately strong so like i was talking about earlier the game's kind of been a breeze and you gotta remember we're doing this with the heavier armor too two achievements in here Wish I would save in here. I wonder if I can save it on my own somehow. So maybe we can get in there. So I've been running out of ammo in this thing. So I think we need to backtrack and try to find the ammo for this before we uh, continue onward. Unfortunately, it is that hard. I even have auto run on too. I was not able to like dodge much. Can't use these to... There should be a bunch of ammo, but I got to figure my way through the map. I'm a little bit confused about where I am from moment to moment. And I got in there before. See, I'm just going around in circles. I got to find... Gotta find the way down. I might not be able to. I might have fell down here. Uh, that's the boss room over there. I'm not sure we have a way. Is there a crouch? Control doesn't seem to be crouching. WSMD, run and interact jump. I can quick save with F5. And there's definitely a whole zone back here that I can't get into. I think we're just toasted. Okay. Well. This fight's a bit much, man. We got a Kimbo, but I'm so low on ammo with those. Probably gonna run out pretty quick. I guess I should do a Kimbo shotgun then. Uh, I forgot when you switch weapons, you lose stuff.
He basically one shots me. I don't see a way to survive in one shot. I think we're supposed to find a rocket launcher somewhere, but I haven't seen it. Jeez Louise. That was a bit much, man. <laughs> was there a secret I was missing? He can't hit you with the explosives when you're inside of these things. Disproportionately hard. Like, even for a boss, it was disproportionately hard compared to the rest of the level. Let's see where we're at here. Killed almost everything. One third of the secrets. BC area entry, found the only one. I don't know where the other cameo was. 46 minutes was not great time for sure. 24% headshots, 66% body shots, 10% leg hits. They're probably mostly on the... What's that watermelon slice down there? No, I couldn't, cl I couldn't click anything. 